So I want to talk about something. I want to talk about carbon fiber cubes. I These are extremely popular. Like there's a lot of people who really are excited about these sort of puzzles, but I need to break something to those people. They're not that great. And this is what I mean by it. I mean, if you like the way they look, that's great. But let's let's talk about what they are. First off, there's no carbon fiber in this. All of these stickers are just that. They are stickers. They look like they've got that, that sort of carbon fibery weave. It's just a texture on vinyl or plastic, whatever the sticker is made of. I'm guessing it's vinyl. But it's just, I mean, you can even, if we, if we show that, I'm going to try to take a picture of it zoomed in. It's the same design just sort of etched into each one. There's not even a variety of it. It's the same exact design. There's one company that's the biggest culprit of this, and that's Z-Cube. But when Z-Cube use, makes carbon fiber cubes, all they're doing is taking usually another company's puzzle. So this is the Chi Yi Warrior W. Um, that's the Warrior W. And sticking on, putting some stickers on, and then reselling it for more. I just ordered the Fankun uh, Kilominx, and there's a version of that with the stickers that just it costs more. This Megaminx, I don't know what company makes this Megaminx. Um, I believe this Pyraminx is Moryu, and we've got the stickers on it. Now, if you wanted to use something like this at a competition, you can't. You have to take the stickers off. But when you do, then you have, you know, usually a, an okay puzzle. I think what bothers me most, what, what gets me frustrated about some of these things, is I see people talk about, like somebody just recently said something about how, how carbon fiber cubes don't perform as well as regular ones. They are regular ones. They just have stickers on them. That is it. That's the only difference. And there's, uh, where is it? Do I have it? Ah, it's stacked against other things. I'll take a picture of it. There's a puzzle that Moryu made where there was just their MF3S with a cool sticker. And they kind of sold it as that. And it probably sold decent because it looks kind of cool. And that's what I'd prefer these to be. Have these advertised or have these sold. If ZQ says, hey, we have a Warrior W with our textured carbon fiber-like looking stickers. Great. That works. But, but I... I think a lot of younger cubers or other people are actually being fooled. And that that's what's getting me. It's not that, hey, stop, you know, stop having fun with these things. No, 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 have fun. If you if you like them, get them. But there's a lot of people who are getting fooled by it. A lot of people who think they're getting some special puzzle that has actual carbon fiber in it and it's or are on it or stickers and they're not. They're just vinyl on other companies' puzzles. Usually other companies. I Like I said, I don't know where this Megaminx is from, but that's definitely Chi. This is definitely more you. Um, don't know about this skew, I'm sure I could take something apart and check that out. But yeah, that's about it. So if you like these puzzles, awesome. That That's great. Just know you can't use them at a competition unless you take off the stickers and just know that, yeah, they're just our stickers. So here's Sean again, ruining fun for other people. Um, <laughs> if you have thoughts or questions on this, leave them in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.